so what we have here is a georeferenced map that you can see in the right bottom here uh, the degree decimals uh, argument so whenever I take it here so you can so this the map has been appropriately georeferenced right so now this map um, you know if you cl click on it you are not going to get any information as such right so it is only going to give the cell values that are there or the color values as such right but we can extract a lot of information from this right to extract a lot of information from this uh, we need editable layers now we also need to understand what and all information can be extracted from this particular map right so uh, so, some you know at first look itself you can say we can uh, you know uh, vectorize and uh, take out uh, take out the uh, you know the district districts of meghalaya right then we can also uh, so these districts will be in the form of polygons right so because these are these are the districts have an area so we'll have to uh, vectorize them as a polygon right and then we have these red lines that are running around right so these are the uh, road network so we can vectorize that also right that will be in the form of a line or a polyline and then we have uh, the uh, district capitals uh, that have been given so those can and other major cities are also there so those can be vectorized in the form of a point right now to vectorize we need so if you look at the table of contents we don't have any editable layer here right so we need to create editable layers right uh, we need to create a point layer for our towns and cities we need to create a polygon layer for the district uh, area right and then we need to create a polyline layer for vec uh, vectorizing the uh, roads road network right so for that what what should we do we should go to the catalog right go to uh, appropriate uh, uh, folder so I have created a folder uh, to uh, no, help you understand. I have created a folder called vectorization. So I'm just selecting that vect uh, vectorization folder and clicking on, uh, right clicking on it. And you have something called new. Now, there are two ways to do it, right? We can directly uh, use a shape file uh, and then vectorize it or we can develop a data geo database and then do it, right? So first I'll show you how to do it using a shape file right so creating a shape file and um, uh, working with the um, uh, editable layers right so uh, new shape file right so here uh, a new uh, pop-up will open up so here we'll give name so here I'm going to give uh, towns right or maybe district headquarters right and this will be in point right so here uh, the projection will give it as geographic world WGS 84 because uh, that is what we have used for georeferencing right so click OK and uh, you'll find a editable layer has come in the table of contents right then uh, I'll also create two more layers right um, one is another shape file click shape file I'll create roads or road network right road network right that will be, that will be in the form of a polyline right again I'll uh, select the geographic projection world WGS 84 right click OK then uh, one more uh, editable layer that I need to create is for the districts so again one more this one so here I'll give districts this will be polygon right. edit okay so I have three editable layers here now towns uh, road network and districts right so three editable layers have been created now if you right click on them right for example I am right clicking on towns and uh, uh, th there is something called open attribute table click on that and you will find there is an attribute table so whatever you are vectorizing so if you vectorize one 
point automatically it will come as a row right and uh, it will create an um, a feature id it will tell you what is the shape so here the shape will be point and uh, uh, a uh, id uh, will be created so either normally it will come in zero or sometimes it will come as one um, uh, or Uh, uh, no, uh, or we can assign a number to it, right? Once uh, we can make it into uh, editable format, right? So uh, this is the uh, uh, table which is running behind the, uh, uh, no, uh, behind the scene you can say, right? Or behind the map, right? Now here we need one more column so that we can enter the. Uh, city name or town name so for that what we'll do is uh, on the uh, on this attribute table uh, pop up uh, there is something called table options click on that then you have add field right so here you can create town underscore name right so this has to be in Uh, so it it is not a town name is not going to be an integer right so it will be text so uh, you can sorry uh, it has to be text right now um, uh, how many characters will be there so you should know you know uh, what are the names of the uh, no you are going to enter and how many maximum characters will come so what i have kept is i have kept 50 keeping in mind the uh, you know indian names normally they are too long right so we have uh, uh, so that we have enough characters uh, and we can enter the complete name so i'll give okay so here i have given 50 characters and okay so you'll find another uh, column has been created which is town name so you can keep creating for example town population if you want you can create another uh, column for example uh, again Uh, go here sorry again go here add field right so in the table options menu right table options menu right add field it can say population right population so this cannot be short integer this will be a larger value so what will give us either we can give no uh, the long integer or you can give a float value right so uh, so that uh, uh, larger numbers can be taken so i am selecting float as such right and uh, uh, it is asking for precision so those things you can uh, leave it as it is and uh, then click okay so you have a population column also that has come okay so uh, now let's start uh, vectorizing so to start vectorizing uh, the points or the towns what we need to do is we need to enlarge and find where our towns are for example uh, this so this uh, this city tura is the capital for uh, the west sorry east uh, sorry uh, west garo district right i think it is uh, west garo district Yes, Tura is the capital for West Garo. So I'll just enlarge it, enlarge that location, so that I can um, do the vectorization job. Right. So, um, uh, so now the point is clearly visible. Right. So what I'll do is I'll go to Editor. Right. So you need to bring the Editor toolbox. Right. Uh, uh, I hope you all remember how to bring it. So you need to click on the right uh, taskbar here, and then uh, right click. Right. Right click. Uh, on the taskbar right, right click on the taskbar and this editor will uh, this uh, lots of tools will appear and from there you have to select the editor toolbox you can just dock it in the top taskbar and then in the editor click on the editor and click on start editing right click on start editing so it will ask uh, uh, a pop up will menu uh, pop up menu will open you can just click continue right so Uh, uh now again we need to uh, you will find here uh, the edit uh, this is the edit feature uh, is given right so sorry yes edit feature uh, or create feature dialog box is there on uh, it will be there on your uh, uh, 
uh, right hand side taskbar or if it is not there on your right hand uh, right hand side taskbar on the editor toolbox uh, editor toolbox you can see uh, the last one here this is create feature uh, tool right so this you need to make it active and here you need to select towns right so here uh, at the bottom side you'll find uh, points are active so i'll click on points and then go and click so there, there is this point is active you can see right so go and click here right so that one point has been laid so once uh, uh, i have done one point i am just going and clicking this normal select element uh, uh, cursor so that i don't click anywhere and create new points right so then i go to uh, table of contents click right click the town feature right uh, uh, open attribute table and here i enter the name right p u r a so in case uh, uh, you know the population you can uh, uh, enter the population as well right so uh, let me put it as some uh, 50000 people right so it is left to you right uh, uh, so if uh, you need to find out the correct population of tura and then add that so i am just giving an example here right so then once uh, you know uh, you, you can do uh, this once your uh, first editing is over you can just click on the editor click save edits right so this will become a permanent and then close the table right zoom down let's go to the next uh, next one so this is uh, william nagar right so this is the uh, headquarters for uh, east garo hills district right so william nagar so again our uh, editor is still active you can see we have not stopped editing so it is still active it right. will go again to create this one i'll select the towns point click there click on the select feature go to the attribute table right and uh, give the name William Nagar so let's say this is some 75,000 Right. then go again save edits so that that gets saved go back right zoom out then uh, let's uh, select uh, another point this is Bagmara capital for uh, South Garo district or uh, so again what I'll do is I'll just close this create feature click on towns point click on the point there right sorry so you see error how error has come click on the point there click here so i think the point has not been registered so it's okay uh here and then bug mara okay so let's say this is uh, some uh, 35,000 population save it so like this you can continue right uh, you can continue all the districts and uh, uh, complete the uh, vectorization of the point uh, feature right 